Fellow Groggers, welcome back to Grog Games. I am your boy, Super Potion. As the video suggests, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the pet system in Palea, what it looks like now, how can you get a cute little pet like this, and then some theorizing in regards to the future for what Singularity 6 could do. Most of you probably know at this point in time how to get a pet, but in case you're watching this and you don't, uh, pets unfortunately do cost money right now on Palea. You can buy them from the premium store. You can open your regular inventory right there and click the premium store. Other ways to access the shop, of course, are to go to your wardrobe itself. Just hit store right there. Or you can go to Jell's, you know, shop and then click the register. Doesn't matter. Either way. So if you go to the store and actually click on the money icon in the corner, as you can see, I have a thousand coins of whatever kind of coins this is. I mean, you can only get the pets, unfortunately, if you buy their currency using real world dollars. If you buy any selected currency, you will get the first pet that I have. I didn't know that right away, so I, I spent $10 on it, but you know, I want to support the game, so that's totally fine. But the minimum you can buy is uh, $5 to get the little brown guy right there. Otherwise, if you spend 3,000 plus coins, you can get all three of them, it looks like. The Island Palcat, Snowy Palcat, and Nocturnal Palcat. But you know, I like my Sandy Palcat. He's, he's fine. Pets are companions that follow you around as you journey through Palea. Only one pet can be equipped at a time. Pets can be found in collections. Of course they can. And in the future, if you know, you want to switch between pets if you have more than one uh, when they you know eventually come out with more you go to the collections right there at the top god i don't know why that's glitching ignore that go to pets and I, then you can switch to other stuff here. The Nocturnal Pal Cat does look pretty sick. Now, really quick, how does the pet react in game? Well, basically does this. That's it, that's it. He's got a standing animation like this. His tail wags a little bit, just like that. I don't believe he has another animation. Let's actually sit here for several seconds while I uh, sip my coffee just to make sure. Nope, that's it. There's no other animations. There's just the running animation and then the stopping and whale tag animation right now for the pet. Uh, if you jump off a cliff like this, uh, the pet will essentially disappear and then, uh, you know, teleport right there, pretty much. It just auto teleports to you uh, when you land. Occasionally, it can get stuck on stuff, I believe, but it'll just teleport to you again, like right Oh, okay. Well, I tried to lose him. <laughs> I didn't lose him that time. But it's possible. It's possible. I've seen it. I don't think I, there's been any great emphasis on, like, it making the game harder to play. Like, if it takes longer for your pet to load or something. I, I haven't seen any of that personally, although I've heard from other people online and that could be the, play, the case of that it's rubber banding the graphics a little bit because your pet has to catch up to you. Not entirely sure, but it's possible. Now, let's talk about the more important thing, uh, the future of the pets going forward in the game. Uh, I'll just play the game a little bit as we talk, just, you know, so you can have something to look at. Ooh, where am I hoping that this goes in the future? Well, the first most obvious thing is that I really hope we can interact with our pets. Um, as you see, Tao is uh, Hassan's Hassian's Hassian's pet right here. He's a lovely little fox. It'd be cool if we got uh, a pet like him in the future going forward. And you can just chat to him, and he doesn't really do much. He like snips your hand and stuff. It's it's whatever. But just interacting with your pet, I believe, is important. Because, to be honest right now, I don't feel as connected to my pet as other MMOs where I've had pets. You know, just me chilling on a Friday morning with my cat. I'm Obviously, that's an opinion of mine. It depends on the person and everything. It doesn't do anything else. You can't interact with it. You can't little... You can't pet them. You can't pet them. It's, uh, not great. Oh, what is... What is happening here? Oh, I didn't know I could push him like that. That's hilarious. <laughs> He's stuttering so bad. Oh, he can open gates. <laughs> but yeah, I think number one, they gotta make sure that we can interact with it. Whether it's the same as talking to his Hassian's pet there, or if it's just something in regards to like pressing a certain button will uh, make you interact with your cat or interact in different ways depending on like how far along in the storyline we are, like what activity we're currently doing. For example, if I was fishing and I just caught a fish or something and then I talked to, to my little cat here, it would be like the fell cat's fell cat? What is it called? Pell cat? Pal cat. The pal cat is sniffing your fish delicately or whatever or like, I don't know, just little interactions like that where it would seem like it's more built into the world. Right now, it, it doesn't feel that way too much. Another opinion is that I wish we could name it, you know, 
Naming pets would be dope, honestly. I know that may be a little bit difficult. I don't know how that would work if other players can see the name of your cat. That would mess up the server in regards to, you know how you pass by another player, you can see their name. Would that be too much in regards to seeing that player's name and their pet's name? I assume it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but naming your pet would be awesome. Now, the only way to get the pal out, of course, is real money. And going forward in the future, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think they're gonna change that. I really don't. I think it would be stupid business-wise if they did, if they made a pet that was a free-to-play pet. Just because that's one way that, like, entices people to buy a cosmetic with real money. Do I want that? Yeah, of course. I, I would love everyone to have a pet. But just by a business decision and the way that it's going right now with the online store, it seems they are very business focused. I don't I don't see it happening really. I think it's gonna stay in regards to a cosmetic that players who use their real world money can buy and it does no purpose. Now Singularity 6 did always mention before the start of the game they have mentioned, they've repeated several times, that the cosmetics will not affect gameplay at all. They're just going to be purely cosmetics. There's not going to be anything with an additional effect. Uh, there won't be something that, like, makes it so your skill is better or something, or, like, increased fish rate or anything like that. However, let's not beat around the bush. It's possible, if they really wanted to down the line, they could make something that is gatekeeped behind a pet itself. Now, that could be something crazy, like a new skill, like pet breeding, equestrianism, or equestrian, yeah, husbandry or pet taming, or even like something along the lines of a pet level system in regards to relationships. So like if your pet itself had a certain level, and then you just got a certain reward. They could do something like that, and then the reward itself would just be aesthetic, so they wouldn't necessarily be breaking their promise. It would just be like, oh hey, you level up your friendship with your cat, no one cares, but here's a free decoration or something like that. I feel like that would be a smart move and a high possibility on their end. Wouldn't necessarily be breaking the promise to any of the players, but worst case scenario, is that they go ahead and basically create a new skill just for pet owners that would be activated if you own a pet it's yourself and then you would essentially get access to that skill like it would automatically activate a quest or something along those lines i feel like they might not do that but i just wanted to bring it up as a possibility because really who knows at this point the game's so new that like we we really don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Well, that's it, fellow groggers. Uh, I just want to bring up a quick video for this. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want me to make some more videos in regards to Palia. I am enjoying the game very much right now, and I would like to continue to show you it. Thank you very much to our Grogger Pogger and Tanky Loyalists. Their names are on the screen right now, this very second. They're the reason why I can create videos like this in the first place. Thank you so much. I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.